divide these two algebraic expressions that are 39 by q into 5, 39 by q into 50 by square minus 98 divided by 26 by square into y into 5y plus 7. Let's recall 39 by q, 50 y square minus 98 divided by 26 y square into 5y plus 7. So let's divide these two algebraic expressions. So when we are dividing these two algebraic expressions, so write this 39y cube into 50y square minus 98. So divided by 26y square into 5y plus 7. So we have written these two. Instead of the divisive symbol, we have used the divided by this. Instead of symbol, we have used divided by these two terms we have written. So, in this we can observe that there is 50 y square minus 98. There is a common factor in this two. And that is two because we we'll get a, a factor of a factor of two. This 50 is divisible by 2 and 98 is also divisible by 2 so we can write this 2 as 39 by Q into so into so this one can be written as 2 into 25 y square minus 2 into 49 divided by 26 y square into 5y plus 7. So let's recall, just we have written the same terms, all the same terms, but here 50 can be written as 2 into 25 and 98 can be written as 2 into 49 because it's a factor. This is the 50s and the factors of 2 and 25. There is a common factor of 2 in this both the terms. So we have taken 2 into 25, 2 into 49. So, using the distributive property, we can take this 2 in common. So, 39 by Q into. So, when we have taken 2 in common, so we'll be getting. So, 2 we have taken in common. It's a distributive property. So, 2 into. This is one of the term minus 2 into. Next term. So, we can take 2 in common. And after that, we'll be getting 25 y square minus 49. So, here we understood we are using the distributive property. We have done. We have taken the common for these two terms. So, 26 y square, 5 y plus 7. So, here, let's see. There is a 2 and this is 26 and y cube and y square. So there are some common factors in this two. So there is two is a common factor in this two. And after there is a common factor of y squared in this, we are already it's y squared. So we can take the common factors and let's write this two. Take these terms, 39 and 26. And after two, so this can be written as 39 by 26 we have divided with each term so 39 by 26 and next terms are y cube y square so y cube divided by y square we use we have divided with each term that is 39 by 39 by 26 y square y cube by y square and after the terms are left over are these two terms along with the constant term 2. So let's write this constant term along with a constant term of 39 by 26 and the remaining terms are left over here are 29 y square 20 sorry 25 y square minus 49 so all divided by 
5y plus 7. So here we can understand this. So there are the similar terms. There's, there are similar terms are in this. So y squared by y. Y cube by y squared can be written as we know the formula a power to a power m by a power n is a power m minus n. So using this identity, let's write this y power 3 minus 2 that is 1. So y to the power of 1. So in this we can cancel this two table and there's 13 times. So 39 by 13. We got after that. 9 by 13 y and this and this right hand side this denominator there is nothing so we can write as 1 and uh, this one we can observe 25 y square minus 49 and this 25 is can be written as 5 into 5 and 49 can be written as 7 into 7 so there is a common factor there is a common thing in this both that are squares so maybe this this will be the formula of a square minus b square so let's see so 25 y square minus 49 this can be written as 5 y whole square minus 7 square so this is obviously the form of a square minus b square so a square minus b square can be written as a plus b into a minus b that is nothing but 5 y plus 7 to 5y minus 7 so 25y square minus 49 is 5 5y whole square minus 7 square so this is in the form of a square minus b square so it can be written as a plus b into a minus b so the value of a is here 5y so 5y b is 7 so b is 7 is 5y b is 7 so here minus so we understood 25y square minus 49 can be written as 5y plus 7 into 5y minus 7. So let's write here 5y plus 7 into 5y minus 7. So divided by 5y plus 7. So we understood this can be written as these two terms or two terms using the identity a square minus b square. So here we can see that there is a common term. So we can cancel 5y plus 7 into 5y 5 plus 7 and also 5y plus 7. And this, in the left hand side we have a numerical value 39 by 13. So this can be cancelled for 3 times. So after cancellation of these all the terms, we will be getting here 3 into y and left over is 5y minus 7. So after factorization of this, we got this. Let's recall from starting. So we have taken this expression. We need to divide these two terms. We have taken as whole divided by next term. So in this, we can observe there is a two common factor. Two in the two is a common factor in this two. So two into twenty-five, two into forty-nine. Using this distributive property, we have taken two in common. Then we got twenty-five y squared minus forty-nine. So after that. We have divided with each terms that is numerical values 39 by 26 and 2 we have taken as a group of constant terms so 39 by 26 and 2 we have taken here and then after that there are, there are variables here like terms y these are the same variables so y cube y square we can divide this both so y square by y y cube by y square the remaining terms left over here is two terms that are 25y square minus 49 by 5y plus 7. So here using the formula we have simplified 5y plus 7 into 5y minus 7. Then we cancel this both. Then we got 5y minus 7. Here y is left out. And then after cancellation of 2 table we got 39 by 13. So 30 table we cancel. We got 3 here. The y is left out and 5y minus 7. Let's take one of the expression that is 5x plus 3 and we need to find out the value of this and x is equals to minus 2 5x, we need to find out the value of expression that is 5x plus 3 when, we, when the value of x is equals to minus 2 then 5 into this is 5 x x value is minus 2 plus 3 so 
5 minus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So the value of expression 5x plus 3 when x is minus 2 is 6. But we are going here, here we have done the mistake is we need to identify the value of x we have taken as minus 2 directly then without taking the multiplication part. So this is the wrong process. The correct process is 5x plus 3. We need to take the value of x is equals to minus 2. So let's substitute whenever it is in multiplication variable is in multiplication form then we will take into x is equals to minus 2 plus 3. So here it is very important that the whenever variable is multiplied with coefficient then we will need to take the bracket and write the following following value that is x is equal to minus 2 so in the place of x we have taken minus 2 directly so we, we got the answer 6 that is wrong one so let's find out the correct answer x value is minus 2 so 5 to the minus 5 to the 10 minus 10 plus 3 and we got the value is minus 7 this is the correct one Minus 7. So always we need to remember whenever we are multiplying the variable and coefficient. So we need to take the bracket and substitute the value of it. So let's go for some other example. So we need to simplify this expression 2x whole square that is nothing but 2x square. So we will do in this manner that is 2x whole square is equals to 4x we have 10 in this manner 2 square and x so 2 square we have 10 and x we have written there so the value of 2x whole square is 4x this is the wrong one the reason is here the 2x whole square when we are applying the power term which is given in the brackets then that power is applicable for both the bases that is 2 and x also using the identity a b whole power n is equals to a power n into b power n so we need to remember this power is applicable for both the values of 2 and x when bracket is given for this so let us apply this so 2 power 2 and 2 x power 2 so 2 power 2 is 4 4x square so here the correct answer is 4x square so instead of 4x we have we need to write in this form 4x square so let's take some other example then the expression 2a plus 3 divided by 2 is given with then 2a plus 3 by 2 is given we need to find out the value of this one we need to simplify this part so while simplification of this part we will do in this manner that is so we will cancel this 2 so 2a plus 3 divided by 2 so we are we are cancelling this 2 and 2 and after we got a plus 3 so the answer is a plus 3 but this is a wrong process the wrong process we have then is whatever is that is 2a and 2 is 2a is one of the term it is in under addition and divided by 2 and this 2 is belongs to this both the numerators that is 2a and 3 so but what we have done is we have taken this 2 for only 2a and we cancel this board then we got a plus 3 so this is the wrong process let us see what is the correct process for it if it is 2a plus 3 divided by 2 this 2 is belongs to this 2 2a plus 3 divided by 2 let's write again so this is this 2 is belongs to numerators of 2a and 3 both so let's write this 2a by 2 plus 3 by 2 so we have written this 2 for both the terms of 2a and 3 then this process is correct so let's simplify this one 2 to get cancelled then 
8 plus 3 by 2. So always we need to remember that whatever the uh, value is there in the denominator that should be divided for the numerator values of each and every term. So these are the connections we need to make whenever the mathematical statements are given. 